very clear words. Give God thanks for waking us up this morning. Give him thanks for answer to our prayers in his presence. Give him thanks. Give him thanks for your own personal encounter at yesterday's service. Give him thanks. Give him thanks for the week of your testimonies of settlement. Give him thanks. Would you give him thanks for those amazing testimonies of diligent engagement in pursuit of kingdom advancement and divorce? Give him thanks. It's no respect to our persons. What he does for one is available to all if they will walk the same steps, follow the same instructions, engage according to the same order. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. There's always a world that steers a new beginning. Jesus told me, God told them, He said, This shall be the beginning of months for you. There's always a word that comes that opens up a new chapter. Lord, send me my own word this morning for the few moments we have. Please ask the Lord right now. Send me my own word this morning for the few moments that we have. When the word of Joseph came, everything turned in his favor. Send me my word this morning. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Anyone involved in the hobby of sports does it as convenient. But anyone that gets involved as a professional engages with the rules. I may not be available to play tennis for one week, for two weeks, for one month, I have my choice. <laughs> but as a professional, you don't have to feel like you have to do it. When we start serving God with a business-like mentality, it shows. In the precious name of Jesus, this season will not pass you by without a turnaround story to tell. I pray that it will not just be a story for your lifetime, it will be with impact for generations after you. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, speak to us again this morning and let your name be glorified. Where we are, you brought us there. It's all by your grace. The mortals are gathered together every time they are because you drew them receive our thanks in jesus precious name amen please get seated give the lord a big hand of praise praise god i'm more than a conqueror as we all know church growth is warfare luke 11 21 and 22 when a strong man fully armed keeps his goods his goods are in peace. But when he's stronger than he shall come upon him and overtake him, he takes away the arms in which he trusts and then let go his captives. Church growth is warfare. Church growth is warfare. The devil wants to keep the people bound. And then we step in and say, no way. Get off your hand, you poor devil, and let go of these innocent people. But nothing wins the war against the powers of darkness like light. Arise, shine, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is written upon thee. Isaiah chapter 60. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And glory shall be sent upon thee. And the Gentiles will come out of darkness to thy light. 
and their kings to the brightness of your rising. In part, in spite of darkness. In part, in spite of gross darkness. That's the natural heritage of light. And the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehends it not. John 1 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not was helpless could not resist it just like in the natural you turn on light darkness flees for instance many believers are very cautious about vengeance but jesus taught us to pray vengeance prayer avenge me of my adversaries that woman said and the judge said look uh, even though I don't fear God, no man, no regard man, but because this woman troubled me for vengeance, I better get up and act. He said, And shall not the Lord, verse 8, avenge his own elect? And I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, verse 7 to 8. That's Jesus saying, you need to engage the prayer of vengeance whenever you notice stiff oppositions to my agenda. So vengeance is the will of God. And it usually precedes the breakthroughs of God's people. Vengeance. And so more often than not, until the God of vengeance shows up, the enemy never gives up. The enemy never gives up. Tell Pharaoh, Israel is my son, Exodus 4, 22 and 23. Even my firstborn. And let my son go, that's my agenda, that he may serve me. But if you won't let him go, I will slay your son, even your firstborn. Because I must free my son. Every divine agenda being resisted demands vengeance for breakthrough. Demands vengeance. You know how many souls Jesus must have won as we went out, as we stood strong on the altar of prayer. They must be gathered and it will require the act of divine vengeance to gather them. And when he won't let him, he said, I will bring one more plague. My God, and he will let you go. He will throw you out of the place. Exodus 11, 1. And Exodus 12, 33. Go, 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 go. And serve God as you have said. After vengeance answered. And that is the birth of the church in the wilderness. That church was birthed in the liberal room of vengeance. God showed up all the firstborn of Egypt, including the firstborn of Pharaoh, to the firstborn of those in dungeon, the dungeon. All the firstborn of Egypt and the firstborn of all their cattle, everything that go, 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 we be all dead men. Vengeance gave birth to the church in the wilderness. And stay in the way and see and ask for the old path. Jeremiah 6 16 and 17. Where is a good way? Walk in it. So we are out to invoke vengeance on all the forces that may be resisting all those that God has brought our way in this awesome season. And heavens we answer. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Heavens we answer. Yeah. So this week our exhortation line is captioned engaging the God of vengeance for supernatural church growth. Engaging the God of vengeance for supernatural church growth. He is God of love. His message endures forever, but he's also God of vengeance. 
Psalm 94 and verse 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, show thyself, my God. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. So all devils and their agents that won't let go, the people that God has set free, they must be visited with vengeance this week. Remember, church growth is warfare. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16, and verse 18. Vengeance is God's last card in warfare. <coughs> Vengeance is God's last card in warfare. I will bring one more plague upon Pharaoh, upon Egypt and upon Pharaoh, and after that, he will let you go. And that last thing he brought was vengeance. And after that, the church in the wilderness was born. Isaiah 49 and verse 24 to 26. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend with thee. And I will save thy children. And how will he do it? And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Vengeance is mine, and I will repay. <laughs> Vengeance is mine, and I will repay. Vengeance is mine. And I will repay, said the Lord. Romans 12, um, verse 19. We have the God of vengeance standing to await our decree so he can step in and save our children. Menu Prectenia Muna Shigano. There will be news this week. Because all the strongholds of hell gathered against the advancement of the church shall be visited with divine vengeance that will sweep them naked in the name of Jesus. This week shall be the most mammoth week of harvest we have ever known in this ministry. Three million people came out of captivity through an act of vengeance. Through an act of vengeance. 600,000 footmen and soldiers. We are not counting old men and women. And we are not counting children. All the ones under 20 were not counted. Every 3 million people marched out with dignity out of Egypt. Rode on the waves of the sea. My God. Feeding fat on the grace of God for 40 years. Stand to your feet. In the same vein, whatever is resisting your heritage in Christ must be visited with vengeance. Yeah. You want to pray, you can't pray. It's time for vengeance to answer. Yeah. You want to move, you can't move. You are just pretending as moving. It must bow today. Yeah. Now, Psalm 94 verse 1. So four, pray that prayer. Come on now. Open to Psalm 94. Okay, verse 1. Oh Lord God to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh God to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and render the world to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long? How long? Verse 4. 
How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. O oh Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. O oh Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. O oh Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Let this will be a week of release to every captive of the devil. Rade poradi shagalabalot. Matekate, ketekete no. Meketo kane, malekete kenero. Sheelo, breela, taano. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, precious name, we are praying. By divine agenda, we are not permitted to labor in vain or bring to birth in sorrow. My God. So every single soul given to us as individual soul winners, released to us on the altar of prayer, must be preserved. Therefore, every force resisting the ingarden of these souls come under judgment. Now go ahead and invoke divine vengeance. The prey of the mighty must be set free. The captive of the terrible must be let go. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, show thyself. Arise in the fullness of thy might. In Jesus precious name we are praying. Now we are coming into the end of this operation. And at the end he shall speak. Therefore be not slothful in business. But fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Be instant in prayers. Fervency is a requirement for this last two weeks. Far, genuine fervency. That my son put down his pastoral title and went straight to engage. And heavens opened up. First level, second level, my God. Brand new building completed and handed over to you for free. What kind of thing is that? Amen. Come and say favor. That's the overall summary of what belongs to those who serve God in truth and in the who are committed to the interest of his kingdom. So you'll be visited with favor. Yeah. Nothing can bring about a four quantum leap in a man's life except the favor of God, as it was with Joseph. Therefore, expect to be visited with favor. Based on your fervency of engagement, fervency. Don't play religion. Don't sit down there like a casual person. No, get, get serious about what you are doing. Thank you, Father. We have two tracts for this week that we're using. And I showed the two we had before on the harvest field. Second encounters with the miracle working God, as we have it here. Why we enjoy prophetic covering here at Winners. Even our buildings care people, sir. My God. Let's pray. Holy Ghost, breathe upon this tract and let it bring people out of captivity into their liberty. Breathe upon this tract and turn many to the kingdom. In Jesus precious name we are praying and then we have this tool for us to enlighten us on what to expect in response to our engagement don't keep it to study it don't let this impossible we only take 
hold of what belongs to us by revelation, by knowledge. Amen. 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 Somebody was carrying uh, people with his vehicle up and down. I am imposing the same person. What's the problem? No, light. He caught light. And does he have a problem? No. He got solutions. Search for your hand. Lord, give me understanding. I want to be part of this move and the partake of the blessings thereof. I must not be left behind. I must not be left behind. Help me to invest maximally of my time, my energy, and resources this last two weeks to the glory and praise of your name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Now lift up those two hands. Be blessed and remain blessed. None of your efforts shall be wasted. Your labor shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. The favor that breathes diverse quantum lips will locate you this week. And so shall it be. Take hold of the day right now. Everybody take hold of the week. This week shall be a most fruitful week for every one of us. Take re hold of the week. Take re hold of the day. Everything is working in your favor this week. And give him thanks for it.